John Osterreicher was born on February 2nd, 1904, to parents Nathan and Ida Osterreicher. He grew up in what was then part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, a rural part of the world called Moravia. Monsignor Osterreicher attended medical school at the University of Vienna until 1924, when at the age of 20 he converted to Catholicism. Only three years later, he began to dedicate much of his early life to the priesthood, where he began combating the Nazis through radio and print. He had uh, radio broadcasts and he published a book in which uh, he maintained the way the Nazis were fighting against the Jews was just a preparation for the attack that they would make on the Catholic and Protestant churches after the war. Once the Nazis tightened their grip on Eastern Europe, Monsignor Osterreicher was forced to flee west via Switzerland, France, and Spain to Portugal. Although he escaped with his life, he lost something irreplaceable. Monsignor Osterreicher lost both his parents. They were taken into concentration camp at Tresienstadt, and then uh, his father died there of disease. His mother was taken to Auschwitz where she perished. Monsignor Osterreicher continued to broadcast against the Nazis while on the run in Western Europe. He did so until he was forced to flee once again in November of 1940, this time to the United States. After he reached America, he continued to battle anti-Semitism and foster Christian and Jewish dialogue. He served as a research professor at Manhattanville College until arriving at Seton Hall University in 1953. Fortunately, through the gift of, of a generous donor, Madame Suzanne Gilbert, who has been the major support of our work for the last 60 years. He was able to establish the Institute of Judeo-Christian Studies at Seton Hall University. Along the way, Monsignor Osterreicher was joined by passionate colleagues, such as Rabbi Osher Finkel. When I met my colleague at Seton Hall University to bring the Jewish and the Christian faiths together from the beginning to show how they are connected in the affirmative and positive way. In terms of courses, how to define it in history with its dynamics and how it is defined in the Jewish way and how it is defined in the Christian way. His appeal to me, he said, we need to show that the world of Christianity is rooted in Judaism. We started it only as a project. Today, every city in America where they have a university has a program of Jewish and Christian studies because we were so successful. Because of Rabbi Finkel and Monsignor Osterreicher's passion, the program at Seton Hall has thrived. Students like Mikhail Fine are able to learn more about the relationship between Christianity and Judaism. Great people are really fighting for tolerance between Jews and Christian. There is a great effort to build a relationship between Jews and Christians. And this is exactly what was the mission of Monsignor Asterreicher. And this is what Seton Hall University, through the teachers, the professors, uh, is trying to do. I think that A, it is very successful. I think that the effort that those professors are making is immeasurable and so needed because there is tension between Jews and Christians and others. There is anti-Semitism. There is a need for more education. Along with creating a groundbreaking program at Seton Hall, Monsignor Osterreicher served the global community when he was asked to join the Second Vatican Council. Monsignor Osterreicher was invited in 1961 to be on the preparatory commission making a statement on the Jewish people, what we call schemata, foundation drafts for documents which would be discussed on the floor of the council. And so Monsignor Osterreich was involved in the preparation of the document on the Jewish people. It is clear that Monsignor Osterreicher has left his mark on the world. From starting a program that has become widespread to working with Vatican Council members and the Pope, Monsignor Osterreicher has left a legacy that continues to inspire people to this day. I want to continue this mission of Monsignor Osterreicher. The efforts of Monsignor Osterreicher, his supporters and colleagues throughout the years, have served to educate people around the world about Jewish and Christian relations. Through his work, Monsignor Osterreicher will continue to inspire a new generation, and his legacy will live on for years to come.